Hey y'all, how y'all doing? What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to my beautiful channel, Divine and Gifted. I am Shay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, what's up? Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can know when I upload. I am here to do the new moon in Virgo. Now the new moon in Virgo is on the 27th, okay? <clears throat> However, this energy is very, very strong. You already should be in the energy of, 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 of like really trying to figure out what you want. Because that's what this is. It's this Virgo energy is about structure, discipline, organization, all that, right? So it's like what you want, what what are the things that you need to get done? What are the things that you want to accomplish? What are the things that how do you what how can you get yourself closer to your dream? What actions do you need to take? Um, how can you inspire, uplift, encourage, and motivate yourself? Okay, now keep in mind that this energy is very, very, very much so in alignment with this Uranus Mercury um, ret retrograde. I was going to say Mercury retrograde because Mercury is right around the corner, you guys. Mercury does go retrograde on the 9th. So, um, <clears throat> so we're definitely been in the shower period for Mercury retrograde since the 20th, let's be clear. But um, New Moon in Virgo is basically what needs to get done for you? What do you want? Where do you see yourself? How do you want to excel? How do you want to succeed? planting seeds now is a time to sow your seeds literally if you got some seeds sow them okay i just heard thyme sow a little bit of thyme okay but um those sprouts it's like it's like sprouts i, I think they might even be called sprouts but they 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 they're like chai they look like chai seeds or something like that i don't know i don't know what it is that i'm seeing but they're they're small little itty bitty plants. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Let me know in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, um, so now is the time to sow seeds. Sow seeds. Plant, say, speak, think, visualize, write, talk to the divine about what it is you want, how you want your life to unfold, where you see yourself. Set your goals. Sow your seeds, okay? Um, what do you need to get done? What is it? What do you want the most right now? Where do you see your life taken off to? What do you expect in the next six to eight months? Okay. Again, this is also aligning with Uranus Mercury, what what Uranus retrograde and Uranus um, retrograde is all about innovative ideas, but it's also about this at this time when it goes retrograde because it's going to retrograde inside of Taurus it is it's so much in alignment with your personal growth and this is a time for you to really reflect on in, internally on what you can do to get yourself in full and complete alignment with your truth your soul's growth your highest good okay you're gonna have well you would you will be inspired at this time to pay to take many 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 major life changes okay for some of you guys you guys will have a wake-up call um you guys and have like these epiphany moments when it comes to like finances and career when it comes to love you guys are really going to be looking at what do i want what do i need to feel safe to feel secure to feel comfortable to feel active to i would say activated so some of you guys could be being activated you know that uranus energy is about um the awakening it, it you will be awakening but this is also about going against the grain you get what i'm saying going against the norm stepping outside that comfort zone again embracing something new and this could be a new way of thinking being seeing acting speaking it, it's it's just embracing the new and it's time to do it deepening who you are deepening that trust within yourself not being afraid to be who you are what you are so on and so forth but i've already been talking for four minutes so oh low it i don't i don't even know how i got this deep with y'all okay i don't know how i got this deep with y'all but let's 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 get into the tarot okay because low it let's get into the tarot spiritual messages do you have for the collective working in their highest good for their highest favor okay asking for messages full of unconditional love like healing clarity truth understanding also asking for high vibrational messages please and thank you that is a fully complete line with their soul's growth and their highest good ashe 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 please protect our energy our mind our body our spirit and our soul family as we enter into the sacred divine space ashe 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 okay so let's see what's the overall energy for the collective for this new moon in virgo current energy so we have don't let your past hold you back okay period 
don't let your past hold you back and expect powerful change now this is what i'm saying as you do these as you personally reflect and internally um look at a lot of the things that you went through experience it's like at this time you're in this growth stage and process so you're really looking at a lot of things that you've outgrown and this could be happening in your relationships like you can be looking at relationships like this is no longer serving me i only say you um uh relationships because it's uranus retrograde in the sign of taurus with virgo so this is all about challenging you what you want the ideas for yourself and that could come in money finances uh career and that can come in relationship with yourself and others okay but <clears throat> when it says don't let your past hold you back i just feel like spirit is basically saying make the first move take the initiative don't 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 keep playing it safe don't keep playing it small with expect powerful change it's like if you can break free from the past past way of thinking being seeing acting you what so have you the spirit is basically saying you can expect powerful change new and beautiful things will come to you um what else what else give me two more spirit for the overall energy for this new moon in virgo for the collective okay that's too many give me two more new moon in virgo so we have your hard work is paying off so some of you guys have been doing the work and, 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 and consistency is the key at this time which your hard work is paying off spirit is basically saying don't give up don't get don't get disrayed i don't know what disrayed means okay but don't don't get dissuaded it's like i don't know dissuaded i don't even know if that's a word i don't know if that's a word but don't allow yourself to get distracted by by it not happening on your time T spirit does not know time okay spirit does not there's no time there's no time we've created time okay time is illusion so your hard work is paying off spirit is basically saying don't get discouraged stay focused straight job stay focused don't get discouraged your hard work is paying off and and, and it may take until capricorn season because it says new moon in capricorn so this may take into capricorn season and then what is this? Your dreams need a practical plan. And this is basically what I'm telling you. This is basically what I've just told you break down in the breakdown of this whole little situation. Regarding the past, mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally, person, place, thing, thought, feelings, emotion, pattern, cycle, condition, behavior, what so have you. Whatever it is that you're finally need to free yourself from, whatever urge, whatever, whatever relationship is breaking down, whatever is currently happening to you that is making you stand up for who you are. It's like stand more in your power. OK, and whatever it is, is what that has you really searching for the strength within you to become a better person, to think better, to be better, to act better, to inspire and up uplift and encourage the collective in itself. And in you inspiring and uplifting the collective, you also know that you're doing that within yourself. What? Um, sorry, y'all. That's my neighbor. <clears throat> but spirit really wants you to know that th the second that you have this courage and not live in a state of regret. Because it says there's nothing sadder than looking back on some part of your life with regret, wondering what you could have did but did not. Go for it. Sometimes it's better to try and fail than not try at all. And what happens is because you don't see, you don't see the fruits of your labor as you should, you kind of get discouraged and you kind of like want to give up or you kind of want to stop or you want to hold or you want to just like allow things to wither away or whatever you're allowing things to just wither away because it's like you can't you don't see the growth and what spirit is basically saying here is that your hard work is paying off even though you can't see it i see you i recognize you it's just taking me a little longer because when i align things it's going to be a perfect alignment for not only this that you're asking for in this area but for in every area every aspect of your being every on every level of your existence you will be prosperous you will move forward you will gain you will you will be victorious okay um, and that's why spirit is wanting you to go back. If there is a stall, a delay, a pause, a hold, or anything like that, spirit wants you to go back and look at and iron out the wrinkles and really look and see where you need to, 
where you need to make some adjustments. When this says your dreams need a practical plan, spirit is basically saying, where can you adjust? What plans do you need to set in place? What daily routines do you need to create? What habits um, do you what what habits do you need to um, instill in your everyday way of living or being? Um, what habits do you need to break free from? What conditions? What thought patterns have you been using on a day to day break basis that you need to go back and examine? How do you, how can you realign yourself? Okay, and then it says, what do I, what do you need to release here? Understand I only wanted one more card, but spirit really wants you to focus on what it is that you need to release, break free from, let go. And again, this could be a person, place or thing, thought, feelings or emotions. Take it how it resonates. But when spirit is asking you, what do you need to release? There is something that you're holding on to. There is a thought there. There is a thought or an idea that didn't take off how you wanted it to. There is a relationship that could be unfolding or crumbling, or there is something that you've been ultimately desiring and you have not gotten it. And spirit is basically saying release, surrender, control, surrender to the outcome, surrender the idea of the result, surrender. What is it that you need to release? What is it that you're holding on so tightly to that outcome? What is it that you're holding on so tightly to that relationship? And it's not breathing. It's not thriving. It's not it's not being activated as it should because you're holding on so tightly to it. You're sucking the life out of it. And when you're holding on so tight, you're holding on out of fear because I don't believe I'm going to have anything more. There is nothing else or this is what I want. And because it's not, this is what I want. And I'm going to hold on so tightly because this is what I want instead of setting it free because I don't know if I'm going to get it back. I don't believe that I'm going to give it. I don't, I don't, I don't believe I'm going to get it back. I don't know if I'm deserving enough for something else or what if that's, what if nothing else comes my way? And what spirit is basically saying, well, what is, what do you need to release is that it's time to set yourself free. It's time to set yourself free mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally on all levels. <clears throat> it's time to set yourself free. Um, let's look into some blockages real quick. Can I get some blockages for the collective? So we have forgiveness, worry, and honesty. Give me one more. Success, period. And what you don't know is that because you haven't been able to forgive yourself, forgive another person, because you still have holes on that heart chakra, it says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Because you haven't fully forgiven. And I mean, like, you're holding on so tight to something to where you, eh, listen, listen here. And then change here at the bottom of the deck. Overall energy is growth. Okay. And for some of you guys, you guys are studying your growth. And, and this is what you need to release. <laughs> release the resentment. Release the guilt. Release the, the, the failure, the idea of failure. Release the, um, release the, the outcome. I've already said that. But you need to release that. And you need to forgive yourself for not, for not exceeding expectations that you have placed. And understand that you need to be in a space of not expecting anything but knowing and understanding that the all is working in your favor everything is working in your favor the universe is working in your favor and i also feel like some of you guys need to forgive the divine because you guys are like how did i get in this situation why am i here you guys have all these different questions and stuff like that but not understanding that if there was not this process that she went through if it wasn't this trial this tribulation of this period then you would not be here you understand you wouldn't have the mental capacity to even to even endure this and also spirit is basically saying the blockage is worrying 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 what about this what about that why how this this that and the third and what spirit is basically saying at one point at some point you need to you need to be I'll own up to own up to what's happening if you're worrying, if you're stressing, if you're if you have anxiety about how something is unfolding or where something is going to go, this is why it hasn't taken off. This is why it's blocking the success. I also feel like this honesty card here is now it's time for you to speak your truth. And once you speak it, it's so and so it is written. So it is written. 
once I speak what I need, once I speak what I want, and, 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 and spirit is basically saying, understanding who you are in this moment, understanding who you are. And sometimes what you need to release is that low self-esteem version of you of not believing that you are enough or not believing that you can achieve or of, of not believing in who you are and your power of manifestation and, and understanding how, how, it, how connected in an alignment you are with the divine already. And for others of you guys, not not being able to see the patterns of your growth, see the patterns of your success is the blockage. Because you can't see it, you don't believe in it. Because you can't see it, it's hard for you to visualize, go deeper into. And that's why success is here as the blockage. Because also often we want to be so successful. We want, we want, we want, we want, we want, we want, we want. And at the end of the day, the success is the reward. The hard work that you put into the sex, the success isn't a reward. The success is not the reward. The hard work that you put into the success is the reward. That is where you reap all the benefits. Enjoying every last struggle, every last moment, every last emotional up and down roller coaster. That is the reward. Because when you actually get it, you'll appreciate it more. Okay? Now, let me leave a spirit message here. Can I get a spirit message for the collective? Can I get a spirit message for the collective for this new moon in Capricorn? Sorry. New moon in Virgo. Oops. I mean, it's all earth energy, right? Oops. Can I spare a message? They just want to be difficult today. I just want one message, please. it gives me two i'll be one and one so we have breakthrough it says how many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear how many times has society voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams it is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams allow your heart to guide you trust your inner guidance the time is right for some of you guys you need to understand that you're just on the brink of the breakthrough you're just on the brink of the of of whatever it is you're trying to manifest to come in all you have to do consistency is key courage is confidence consistency is, consistency is key courage is confidence believe you will achieve keep the faith listen to understand and not to respond trust the process be patient all that okay trust your inner guidance allow your heart to guide you it is time to it, it is it is time to break free of those false beliefs and realize your dreams those false beliefs those limiting beliefs that you tell yourself those thoughts those 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 failed ideas failed ideas you get what i'm saying and then we have prayer it says dear guardian angel Help me to be flexible in my attitudes and beliefs. Help me not to fear the transient nature of life. Help me to remember the eternal light which emanates from my soul and the internal light that emanates from, my, from the heart of every living thing. Help me to remember that I am eternally guided and loved by all God. I mean, by God in all creation. Help me to remember that I am eternally guided and loved by God in all creation, period. Understand that your breakthrough is around the corner. Now is the time to be sowing and planting those seeds. Speak those manifestations. Speak those intentions. Believe in yourself and what it is you're doing, your vision. Believe, 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 believe. I'm going to hop into love real quick. Just real brief. Just real brief. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? When it comes to love, any three. So it says this could be the one you guys could be about to meet someone new. Let go of your control issues and playfulness. Okay, so for some of you guys, you've recently met someone new. With this, this could be the one. 
and this could literally be your person but what's happening is is that you want things to go your way on your time or you are so used or your in conditioned behavior and you're not allowing things to flow naturally and this is why spirit is reminding you in relationships to be playful to be flirty to be adventurous to be very um i guess cunning i don't know cunning um the overall energy is love yourself first and understand what spirit wants you to know here is that as long as you love you and as long as you have healthy boundaries set in place i just seen 22 2022 as long as you love you and as long as you're setting those healthy boundaries and as long as you are being your true authentic self as long as you are loving you without a doubt then the person that's coming towards you has no choice but to meet you that meet meet you in the middle if you're not loving you then they're going to come in not loving you because they don't even know who you are because you don't know who you are you get what i'm saying so this love yourself first is your self respect makes you more romantically attractive and then unrequited love and this is like for some of you guys for some of you guys for a long time you guys were attracting unrequited love and you guys felt real alone and you guys kept giving and giving and giving and giving and giving into these relationships and that created a pattern and a pre pattern the pattern created a behavior and the behavior that's currently happening is this person that could be the one is coming to you but because in the past you didn't love yourself or because in the past you didn't have healthy boundaries in the past you allowed people to walk all over you in the past you allowed you gave so much of your heart and people just took advantage of you now when this person comes it's like you're going based upon what has happened in the past and now let go of your control situ let go of your control issues is here because it says allow the situation to unfold naturally and the only way you can allow this situation to unfold naturally is if you believe and know that if i love myself properly then the person that's coming towards me has no choice but to love me properly and if they don't off with their motherfucking head period okay trust look trust stay optimistic and this is basically saying if you feel if you're not giving yourself the love that you need then you're going to un attract un unrequired love and it's going to be a very codependent situation but if you're trusting that i'm giving myself the love that i need it's right here trust will stay optimistic with romantic feelings and chemistry that i know without a shadow of a doubt i'm going to attract a higher love then bring me a higher love is that whitney houston yeah bring me a higher love i don't know who that is i think that's a man this is a higher love it's something like that it's higher love okay um look up the lyrics i don't know but anyways let's see what the blockage is for love spirit when it comes to collective for this new moon what is the blockage for love and some of you guys are going to be standing up in these relationships and really standing in your power and really making it very clear to your partner on what it is you want, how you want to be treated. And if you can't treat me like this, then you got to bounce. OK, and, and I, I really see this very clearly because what's happening is the person that you're with is blocking the person that should be loving you, nurturing you and taking care of you and all that. They're blocking that person from coming in. The blockage here is envy. And look. You see all these beautiful black love relationships and all these couple goals going on and you see all these different things going on and it kind of puts a sour taste in your mouth because you're like, what did I do to, to, to deserve me to be by myself? You didn't love yourself enough. That's not nobody else's fault but your own and you're learning and you're healing past that. Be very, be very patient with yourself up and through this time. Okay, give me one more blockage. Damn with death and surrender you had a hard time releasing and letting go of the past you had a hard time with 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 with, with closing doors what happened is you would leave the door kind of crack the person would come back in you would catch yourself in a cycle repetitive cycle with this person and 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 you and, and learning how to surrender to that is the lesson that needed to be had here well, I can I, I, I re can release my need to control because you're like, if I can control how I feel, if I can control the time that we do this, if I can control how we do that, if I if I'm setting the tone in the narrative, then it's like this is a defense mechanism. 
mechanism and spirit is basically saying your need to control is going to self-sabotage every situation every single time and all you need to do is just bring love into the situation be love see love think love express love stay optimistic about love don't have no doubts about it don't worry about it don't have no fears about it and just allow yourself to love and give love freely and receive love freely okay so um let me pull a message here for love and I'm gonna let you guys go. Can I get a message for love? It says decision and fear. Some decisions and choices that you have made are based in fear and not heart centered knowledge. Fear is your ego wanting control. So obviously there is a control issue here when it comes to love. Your control, you're trying to control a situation or what so have you is basically saying like you feel more powerful when you're in control. In, in all actuality, me personally, you're in masculine energy. Your 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 masculine your 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 masculinity is coming out very very strong and bold. And it's okay to be in masculine energy, but when it's like time to to be very discerned and what what it is you want and stuff like that but when you're trying to control the outcome of the situation you self-sabotage okay it says take a step back and make a responsive choice rather than a reactive one then you're able to see the truth of the best choice with a calm and centered manner period okay and this is This is a and can I get the best advice for the collective in general? Best advice for the collective for this new moon. So we have the page of fire. This is about taking action. This is about having new beginnings, new starts, being creative, be, not being fearful, not being ever to, not being afraid to start new tasks. Okay, um, a new endeavor, excited, being happy. Um, I also feel the very need to write, 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 write. Okay, what else? With this page of fire, we have the two of fire. And again, spirit is asking you to plan, strategize, be, be strategic. Think about long-term goals, options, okay? Um, come, you, You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. Continue to move forward because you've come into your own. You're now set into the tone. And this is what the Virgo moon is about about setting the tone for your desires for your plans for your hopes your dreams your wishes setting the desires okay and then seven of seven of fire is here defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground choose your battles wisely and what spirit is basically saying if it's needed to give your energy then give it but defend protect what it is that you're the seeds that you're planting protect that Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Don't hold back. With this, 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 this right here, this, your hard work is paying off. Stand your ground. Be stay consistent. Stay disciplined. Stay on top of things. Don't start slacking up. Don't start getting lackadaisical just because you see things taking off. Don't don't get into that energy. Stay consistent. Consistency is key to your success. Consistency is key to your success. Courage is confidence. Okay? Give me one more. What is the main message that the universe would like to tell the collective? Whoever clicks on this video, inspired to click on this video because it's going to be thousands of y'all watching. Ah. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, y'all. The main message Spirit wants you to know is the Ace of Pentacles, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts, period. Spirit wants you to know that this seed I'm about to give you planet and speak positive, inspirational um love speak 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 prosperity over it and understand that i will not only do this when you do it i'm going to be guiding you step guiding you step by step but you have to be able to break free from your ego so you can be able to get to your happiness your ten of cups the fiber water this is no longer crying over spilled milk no longer no allowing guilt fear or resentment or sadness or anything like that to just stop or distract you for moving forward okay choosing the best the best possible outcome and not being distracted by temptation not being distracted by by um things lower vibrational energies that's coming in to distract you from getting to your ace of pentacles this ace of pentacles is letting me know that between now and a year from now your life is going to be completely different if you're if you understand and see that your consistency is key 
to your success okay so i'm gonna leave you guys there i am going to leave you guys there I'm going to leave you guys there, loves. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. You guys be great. Be amazing. Love y'all. Bye.